Uh, today I'm just going to do a comparison between the QB60 water pump and the QB80 water pump. Uh, the QB60 in particular is quite common on eBay. The QB80 not so much, but I'm just going to do a comparison to show you the difference pressure wise from the hose and to show you how many litres per minute each one can actually do uh, in the real world. And I'll just show you the specs. It's the QB60, the smaller one, and this is the QB80. Uh, the only reason that I got the QB80 was because we've had this, let me just see if I can focus there, there you go. The QB60 we've had for maybe one or two years now and it's been great and it's been very reliable but we just wanted something with a little bit more power. So I'm going to install this QB80 and see if it's any better. Um, this, uh, this QB60 cost me $50 including postage on eBay. This is Australia by the way. And the QB80 I just got for $74 including postage. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how much better it is. Okay, let's get to it. This is the QB60. And this is the QB80. So I've just done a little experiment with both pumps. I've timed how long it takes to fill this watering can to nine liters, which is about there. The QB60 took 28 seconds to fill it to 9 litres which works out to be 19 litres per minute and the QB80 took 19 seconds to fill this so that works out to be 28 litres per minute so that's good to know.